Jazz tutorial lesson thing will be The Fourth Wall. This is one of the songs off of Reminder with that logo as the album cover. Uh, I'm also wearing our shirt here, just a little bit of shameless self-promotion. Uh, yeah, the shirts are available for £10 at our gigs and you cannot find them on our Bandcamp page. So if you would like one, come and talk to me, either me or Shane, at one of our gigs. Um, let's jump straight into the song. So this song is in standard tuning, E, A, D, G, D, E. Uh, you're going to want a guitar with a bit of dirt to it, maybe one with humbuckers like I have picked here with my 2017 Mustang. And uh, yeah, it's quite a, mm, quite a bassy song really, because it's a lot of single string stuff, so it has to be a bassy tone on your amp. Distortion as always, and yeah, we'll stick to the distortion throughout the song. The main hook to the song is within the melody. It opens with the melody. It's very simple. I'll play it for you now. So uh, it's a sort of funky kind of the way I pick, I'm sort of a lot of attack on the strings and applying a lot of attack to the strings. You want your pick or plectrum to be firmly within your grasp in your fingers and you want to be hitting those strings, muting everything else other than the string you want to accent, which in this instance is the A string, second thickest string of the string set. Uh, you want to do like a So muting with, I use the thumb, uh, a few people don't like that, but that's the way I do it. I mute the low E string with the thumb, and then I mute the rest of the string set, just laying my index finger along the fretboard. doesn't really matter where, wherever it feels comfortable. Um, there's a sort of chromatic run there, so I tend to rest my finger here on the fretboard, sort of somewhere between second and third fret. Uh, and yeah, then it just leads into like a chromatic run of B, C, C sharp. Which then leads you onto a G sharp. Kind of little run there from the F sharp back to the G sharp. And then it does the same uh, sort of strumming pattern of the... higher up the fretboard, so this time rather than going to the G sharp, the uh, full fret on your E string, to the F sharp, this time you're going to go so that is a uh, F, so third fret on your D string, third string into the guitar, uh, down to an E. That's got that kind of nice descending feel. And I tend to put in a lot of vibrato when doing this, um, to just go crazy with that string. You want to sort of really get a kind of jangly feel when you're playing this melody. Uh, so that's the first part of the progression. <laughs> Again, when you're playing the uh, strings, it's important to mute the rest so that you're just getting the just getting the strings that you're playing. Uh, a bit of background noise is fine; it's okay. You want a bit of dirt because it's a dirty sounding song. But yeah, so when you're playing the E string, make sure you're laying your ring finger dead on the rest of the strings whilst playing the fourth fret on the E string, the lowest string. Then when you move to the index finger, again, just laying the rest of the finger on the string set whilst the uh, tip plays the second fret, the F sharp on the E string. And then when you're going to the high, the D string, the third string in the set, you're only going for the uh, F and the E. You want to be just laying that middle finger across the string set so you're getting no buzz or sound or anything. And then the same with the index once you move down to the E. 
That brings us to the next part of the melody. It repeats the uh, intro again of the G sharp to the F sharp with that chromatic run. Um, then you just do like a, I suppose, like a descent throughout the notes that's played. Um, this time introducing the C and the B that before we ascended. Now we're ascending. I'll show you what I mean. So slow down, that's, and with the note names, that's F, E, open D, C, B, G sharp B. So it's third on the D string, third string of the set. Second on the E, which is uh, the E fret is what we're going for, uh, which is the second fret of the guitar on the third string of the guitar. Open D. Third fret on the A string, which is the C. Second fret, which is B. Same string, A. And then like a kind of... Which is just full fret on the lowest string, E. And then back to that second fret, B, on the A. That brings us into the chorus. You do that, I think, twice, and then you go into the chorus. Chorus being So that's just uh, open chords, sort of bar chords is what you want to be playing. You want to be playing uh, A major, so just, or oh, sorry, not just an A chord. A major. That's A. And then uh, E, second fret on the D string, uh, that'll be A again, second fret on the G string, uh, that will be G sharp on the A, uh, second fret on the B string, second from highest string of the guitar, and then open E. And you want to play that through distortion so you get a really nasty kind of uh, distorted, filthy sound. Uh, then you go to the G sharp bar chord, major again, keeping it major, gives that kind of unsettled vibe. So that's, uh, what we've discussed this before, it's your standard power chord shape, so your fifth shape, stemming from the fourth fret on the E string. So that's the kind of thing you want. Fourth to the sixth fret on the A string. Sixth fret on the D string. And then it's fifth, fourth, fourth. So it'll go fifth fret on the G string, fourth fret on the B string, fourth fret on the E string. So it goes. That is where you introduce the uh, bar chord shape from the A string of the set. So that's fourth fret on the A, power chord shape again, fifth. You want to be stemming that uh, from the fourth and then going into the sixth with your ring finger and then just barring that across the rest of the string set. So all that is is descending uh, power chord, uh, bar chord shape, major bar chord, and uh, whilst you're doing that you want to be going, so you want to be getting like a, so you want to get that open E string accented as you're going down, uh, keeping the major shape as you accent it. And it loops again, and that's your uh, chorus. Then we go back into uh, the melody once more time. Uh, chorus again, what I just showed you. 
and then it's time for the solo. The solo works best on, again, a humbucker guitar, which is why we're using this. Um, and it starts on the third fret of the G string, and all you're going to be want to be doing is a unison bend with the open B string. Open B, third fret on the G. It's kind of like a pull off motion. So you go bend from the third, re uh, release the bend, and then you want to do like a kind of uh, descent going third, second, open. Landing back on the second fret on the G string to uh, resume the solo. And then you do like a kind of um, call and response thing. So we just let go of it using a pull off. Then you want to do a hammer on to bring it back in. us to that unison bend which is a seventh fret on the G string and fourth fret on the B string and then you just descend again from the G string so you want to go seventh, sixth, fifth and then it does it again Descends to the sixth fret and ascends to the uh, ninth fret on the G string. And you want to give it a little bit of bend, a little bit of vibrato to really put that across. And then uh, it does it again, but that's singular string. And then in the second part of the solo, we reintroduce the unison bends uh, throughout the descents and ascents. So it should sound like this. Then we're back into the chorus again. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Again, if you want a t-shirt, come talk to us at one of our gigs. We're dishing them out for a tenner. Albums are a fiver, EPs are two pound. Um, yeah, we're going to keep doing these videos. I've got a few more songs to show you. Hopefully soon I'll be getting into songs that aren't distorted or feature less distortion than most of our back catalogue, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, see you later.